Hi everyone, it's Anne from Curious Moon Design. Well today I'm going to make up some of these double tags. I showed you in um, a previous video the writer's double tag kit. This is a botanical um, double tag kit. So, And last time I showed you how I used some thin card and um, placed it between the tags to make them up. But this time I'm going to use very much thicker card because I want them a bit more sturdy. So um, I've got various ones to look at. Um, that's lovely, that one. Well, they're all lovely actually. Um, there's a template in with it and some labels. I think there's six altogether, but I'm going to use this this one. So firstly what I'm going to do is cut it out completely and then make sure I've got the halfway point and just cut down the centre there and then I'll come back. Okay that's cut out now. To find the exact line to cut down I fold it in two. Always pin it just to be accurate. And then you have a line that you can cut right down. So I'll do that, get my card, and come back. Okay, well, I've raced on ahead as usual, and I've backed these onto card. So I've got all of them done there. I've also backed some of the little um, specimen slides onto card. I just wanted to show you that I've got a number of options now. So um, I can either just use them as standalone um, tags to go in a journal, maybe put some... Um, writing paper on the back or well, I could put them together and seal around that edge and have a, a pocket in them because they're quite nice large tags to do that or I could seal around this edge and have a, a pocket at the top there But what I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make a tag book, rather like I did with um, my Christmas one, um, which I really enjoyed making, and you can put so many little bits and bobs inside those. There's a flip through of this one on my channel. And then there's this little one. And again, you can fill them with so many, the little Christmas card in there, so many bits and bobs. And keep adding to them. So, I think I'm going to do that with these. Um, I've got some paper from one of the packs. I might use some of the Halloween backing paper to go on the back of these and I've got enough to make a I can either do it that way move all those away I can either do it that way and have some backing paper on there And then they'll just fold up like that. So I'm going to go away and do that. And then I'll come back with another video showing you a flip through. Okay, bye for now. Happy crafting everyone.